Uh, so Zoe, uh, busy evening tonight with a lot of players signing on, just give us an insight into the recruitment this season. Um, well obviously we, we've been looking to retain a lot of players from last season, um, so that's a, a must for us because we did so much development with those players um, at a very early age of 16, so uh, keeping them is, is, is valuable to us. And then obviously looking at recruiting new players and um, adding more value, strength and depth to our squad. Um, and that's where we're currently at at the minute, so exciting times tonight to, to get some pens to paper and uh, start building the squad around. And obviously a big thing this season for the Bellas is coming on, under the partnership with Club Doncaster. Just give us your thoughts on, on the initial sort of takeover from Club Doncaster and then how it'll help your side this season. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really exciting just for, for us as a club, for the women's game in general, um, just to be part of uh, the Rovers. And to be that one club united is, is, is it's really exciting. It's, I wish it would have happened a couple of years ago, if I'm honest, but it's happened now and we can just go and embrace that and, and take on as much help as we can from them and their experience and collaborate with what we've got and, and take the club forward. And you've all, the, the Bells have obviously taken on a new chief exec in, in Russ Green. Just what sort of conversations have you had with him in the time that he's been involved with the Bells and what the expectations are between yourselves for next season? Yeah, I mean, Russ has come and he's, he's been a breath of fresh air and I'm really looking forward to building like a relationship with him and having that person there to, to go to and problem solve and just take a little bit of the pressure off me, to be honest, and the other staff. Um, because, you know, last season, season before, we was pretty much running alone and to have that, to have Russ in and him doing some of the work and player recruitment and, you know, getting us sponsors and, you know, all the stuff that you need to survive as a, as a club is, is, is dead exciting. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to Russ. He's, it's only been a short space of time at the minute, but he's made a massive impact already. And it's the second season for yourself as head coach with the Bells. Obviously, last season was a lot of transition with all the changes that went on. What have you learned about obviously yourself, the team, and, and what can you bring in, and change for next year? Next year? Uh, resilience, definitely learned that, to be honest. Um, I've been really challenged last season as a coach. I'm currently going through my A licence, and so, you know, last season going through that and having such a such a young squad to try and get them to play football when really a lot of them should have been playing development football and they embraced the challenge to step up to first team, first team level and yeah, it, we got off to a bit of a slow start, um, we had a really, really sharp pre-season um, this year we've, we've got a really good plan in place, we've recruited and we've got the trials out of the way and we've got a really good you know, plan for pre-season so we're already a, a massive step ahead than we were last season um, and you know we're not going to beat around the bush our ultimate goal this season is to get straight back up to get ourselves out of this league because for one I think Bells deserve better I think the players that are staying around with us and seeing this next stage through deserve a lot better and I believe I've got a lot of belief in the players that I've, I've currently got and the players that I'm, I'm obviously looking at signing so yeah and you've touched on, on the recruitment side of things and obviously the, the players that played predominantly last year were in that development stage. How key will it be to get those experienced heads in this season? Yeah, it, it'll be a massive to be honest. It just, it, as a coach then you spend less time trying to do the smaller things um, when now we can just really start to nail down some of the bigger things of the aspects of the game of how we're going to play in possession, how we're going to play out possession, transition, patterns of play and stuff like that. We can really get to grips with that from the start, where last season it was more lots of individual technical tweaks and stuff um, for individual players. So collectively, it's, um, we're already, like I say, we're already ahead of ourselves. So keeping those experienced players from last year is, is massive for us. So it's a new season, a new league, and there's plenty of new challenges to come on the way. It's a fresh start for the Bells. How excited are you to get the season underway now? Yeah, we are. I'm really excited. Like I say, last season we got off to a poor start. Um, lots of factors in that. This this season I think we're in a better place. So, And like you say, a new challenge in a different league. Unexpected because we don't know the teams that we're playing against. So we've got to do a lot of work behind the scenes to, to look at them and their past results. and pick around their players and, and see what kind of formations, what patterns of play they use and stuff like that. So yeah, it's 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 a challenge personally for me um, and it will be a personal challenge for, for each individual player as well. 
And have you got any message for any sort of Bellas fans that are looking to come back this season? The Rovers fans, obviously, the partnership with Club Doncaster now in full flow about why they should come down to Rossington next season and, and support your your side. Yeah, last season at Rossington, we had we had great support. It's a it's a nice ground. It's very it's, it's you've got that buzz about it when you get you know we've had like 160, 170 down to a game and and it feels better. It's it gives the players that little bit of boost and I'd say if you want to see future players, if you want to see the Bells develop. Um, come and watch. We need your support. The club needs your support. And like I say, if you're if you're a Rovers if you're a Rovers season ticket holder or you know you're a Rovers fan and you want to have a look, just come and give us a try because um, you I, I think we'll we'll make a fan out of you if we're honest.